Hey guys, good morning. It's about 8.45. I just dropped off Maddie at school. I'm headed to the gym. Andres doesn't have to work till a little bit later, so he, uh, I left Autumn at home so that he could give her breakfast. And I was kind of disappointed this morning. It's been about a month since I took measurements as far as inch inches go, and not much of a change. Not really a change, hardly at all. Some things went down, like a quarter of an inch, half an inch, like, but that's kind of like on the line of room for error because Andres is the one that measures me. And if he happened to not measure the exact same place, you know, a quarter, a half an inch is, is kind of, ugh. and even at that, my uh, hips seem to have gotten bigger. So I don't know if it was just the way we measured last time versus this time, but very, very disappointing. I'm headed to the gym anyway, though, because I'm not going to let that, I am discouraged, but I'm not going to let it discourage me to the point where I'm like, oh, just whatever, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm still going to keep going. I'm still going to give it my all and try my hardest. And that's all I can do at this point, right? So hopefully, it's a good workout. I think I have to take measurements here. So hopefully I've seen some changes here compared to last month. That'll probably make me feel better. Okay, workout done. The best part about wearing a black shirt, she can't tell how much you sweat, but I can feel it. I can feel how sweaty I am. And it's so funny, this is, this is Emmy's soccer shirt. I don't know if you guys remember it. Several years ago when she was playing soccer, I got like three compliments on this shirt today. I was like, thanks, <laughs> okay. I just thought it was so funny. For one, I've worn it before. For two, it's literally, all it says is zebras with a zebra on it. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of funny. I was like, wow, thank you. And then finally by the third person, I was like, you're the third person to tell me this. And he was like, it's a really cool shirt. I was like, okay, thanks, I appreciate that. It's very slimming too, so that's always nice. But it was a good workout, I feel good. Didn't take measurements today, which is totally fine. God, my arms are jello. I told Mike, I was like, I'm kind of discouraged. She's like, why? I said, because I thought, you know, I would have lost inches. Like, I feel great when I put on my clothes, when I was trying on clothes last night, all my Disney stuff. A lot of it was even bigger than when I tried it on before. And I was like, but I just feel kind of discouraged. She's like, don't, it, you know, it, it'll come, blah, blah, blah. Of course, trying to encourage me just like my Hannah Benny does, but still felt it a little bit but I told him I said it I'm not gonna give up I even though you know when you don't see results and you feel like you're working really hard it's very hard to stay motivated but I told him I said I'm not going to give up I'm different this time in the past I would have given up like oh forget it well if I don't see any results I might as well be eating cheeseburgers or whatever I want and I'm not doing that this time it's a long haul I didn't put these pounds on overnight they're not gonna come off overnight so change of motivation right here you're seeing it <laughs> because I have to I have to do something different this time I can't give up so anyway motivation for the day never give up on what you know you're capable of accomplishing even if it takes a really long time ready who knows where this road is supposed to lead we got another time give me another as long as you
<laughs> Mama, na da da. Yeah, it's Princess Sophia. It's a flower. Did you sleep good? It's a flower. Princess Sophia. It's a <laughs> You ready to get up? <laughs> Let's go. Mommy dropped me off from school. Well, I mean, she got me from school. Um, <laughs> like I'm almost, I'm gonna get in my closet and go home, have some pizza. We're not having pizza for dinner. Okay. <laughs> buckle, sit down and buckle. Okay. Today was been, has been a very lazy day and it's felt amazing. Autumn and I played all day. We danced, she took a nap, I caught up on some shows. We played some more when she got up after snack. And that's what our day has been like clearly. Whoa, since I look exactly I the same as that earlier. Fun? Clearly. Was that fun, Autumn? Yes, it was fun. Did you all dance in Poco Loco? Uh, no, not on Poco Loco. Or that black thing. And then you turn it on and play princess music or um like music. Oh, uh, just like regular music, but she had fun. <sighs> and Did I'm she tired. Fall? She got dizzy? Oh. Not today. Need to go home and cook dinner. Are you buckled? Mom and done. Okay. Um, go home and cook dinner. I think we're gonna have melt in your mouth chicken with loaded broccoli. What does loaded mean? It means with cheese oh. and bacon. And some butter. <gasps> Keto yummy. friendly. I'm finishing up dinner and this one thinks she's slick. She goes to the bathroom, which she's done several times, but she goes to the bathroom, gets the little stool that Maddie uses. Emmy sometimes when they're brushing their teeth, but Maddie uses mostly to wash her hands. She brings it out here and plants herself in that corner. <laughs> hey, pick them up. Can mommy have it, please? Get that one for mommy. Give it to mommy. Oh. 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 <laughs> Here, you want to wear the other one? Let me see the other hand. Put your other hand in it. Yeah, Adam! <laughs> Yay! So this is the melt in your mouth chicken. It is a keto recipe, but essentially what it is is you used, uh, you use up to two pounds of chicken. Any, I usually use anywhere between one and a half and two pounds of chicken. It is a cup of mayo, half a cup of cheese and spices, salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and no salt seasoning. And again, it is keto, so it's not something that you would want to eat under a normal basis, but I got it from a keto, a keto um, blog. And then broccoli and the girls are, I just melted some butter over it. And I am going to have the girls just have regular broccoli and then I will do loaded broccoli. I don't know, maybe I'll put some cheese on theirs, but um, I'll have loaded broccoli. And that is what is for dinner tonight. It's a sad night, no dinner with my Hinnabini and he loves that, so I'll have to save him a little piece. The girls wanted to go play outside. I told them they had about 20 minutes before they had to come in and start getting ready for bed. I just put Autumn down early. It's only like 7.10 because she was just not having it. She was throwing toys, running throughout the kitchen while I was trying to get straightened up, and she was whiny, rubbing her eyes. So it was time, and she went down, no problem. <laughs> Poor thing, all that dancing today. So the girls are gonna play outside 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll come in and get ready for bed. They love that thing, I'm so, so happy. Every single day that they want to go outside and play I'm just like so happy that we decided to get it because it's such especially with it coming up on hot warm weather or you know we've been in warm weather they literally go outside every single day and it makes me so happy because prior to having it they would come inside and watch TV before bed almost every single night very rarely were they not in watching TV before bed so it makes me really happy that they're out getting motivated and playing. Ah, oh, I was trying to sneak up on you. What are you doing? I'm just coloring the characters. Ooh. This is 
when it finished up. Nice. Donald. Goofy. Pluto. Good. Mickey. Nice. Those look great. Don't forget to hang up your towel, baby, okay? Okay. It's almost bedtime. So I have spent the last hour working upstairs, getting things put away and packed up and I got my clothes off the floor over there. I started putting them in my cubes and sticking them in a suitcase. So again, I know how much room I have. I have, I feel like nothing but time on my hands and I am not doing the things that I should be doing like my Disney ears and finishing up my mom and Nin shirts or editing or cutting stickers or anything else. I'm packing two and a half weeks in advance and I can't help it. I know, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I also packed up toiletries. I know. <laughs> I just, I'm doing it to get the stuff out of the way. Like I'm trying to get the area cleaned up and the more that I can get packed up and out of the way right now, first off, the less I have to cram in those last few days, we have a lot of stuff planned and I'm going to be doing it all on my own because Andres works the entire like uh, five or six, maybe even the whole week. Yeah, he works the whole, the whole five days before we leave, he works. And so he's really not going to be here to help me with anything. And so it's just so much easier if I get the stuff done now instead of trying to save it for the last minute and the girls actually think it's really fun they were sitting here helping me um pick out clothes and stuff so i'm all packed like my stuff is all packed i'm just waiting on uh, my animal kingdom and my star wars shirt and i'm still debating whether i want to make one buy an iron on or order them from torrid like i said yesterday i need to get a hold on onto that i ordered our last set of gift cards or the last gift cards that I plan on purchasing from Sam's. Um, I ordered them from samsclub.com. You can order stuff on there as long as you have a membership and they're actually cheaper. They're $142 for $150 worth of gift cards and I had a $10 credit from one of you guys signing up for a membership. So thank you, I appreciate that. So um, for $600 worth of gift cards, I paid 561, which is pretty amazing pretty good deal so that's my last set of gift cards that i plan on purchasing i don't think i'm going to get any more and that puts me at a good <coughs> god i feel like i was choking on my own saliva i feel like that puts us at a good place right around fifteen hundred dollars in gift cards and that'll be for dining parking because I haven't decided if I want to do the annual pass or not yet. I still have a few days, like probably two weeks or so to contemplate that. And um, what else? Souvenirs, all of our dining, which we have quite a few packs, um, put, put the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, all that stuff. So I think that's a pretty good amount. And then of course we'll have cash and you know, our debit card or credit card or whatever for the remainder of whatever we need because I can't buy groceries and things like that with Disney gift cards. Um, so I think I'm pretty well prepared. I have all our days planned out as far as fast passes go, or at least I have them scheduled. So I'm pretty excited that I got everything done ahead of time. I think once we go and I get an idea of how everything runs, next time I'll it'll be easier for me to not have to prepare months and months in advance. So. Anyway, I am going to call it a night. Um, I'm gonna finish putting this stuff away, maybe do one set of ears tonight. I already edited and uploaded the vlog. I've already got most of the stuff put away here. I just need to move it out into the loft or my uh, office area, and that'll be that. Tomorrow I don't have anything planned, nothing. So what I'm thinking is trying to get up a couple of videos. I was going to do a weight loss Monday today and I didn't, so probably that and a Costco haul and maybe finish up some Etsy orders. I think that'll be my day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.